Hey everyone, this is Jeremy here from JNL Podcast, reviewing Fallout 3 for the PlayStation 3. Uh, now, this is also a new type of game. Uh, it's made by Bethesda Game Studios, and they're the ones who made Oblivion, and that turned out to be a huge success, and it was um, a single-player RPG that basically was a free world. You could roam around anywhere, and basically, let's say you're a penny compared to you know whatever the size of your house is. And really, that's how big the world was. So, it takes a long time to create a game like that. And basically, what they did with Fallout 3 was they incorporated that into a shooter. So, um, it's basically about how back in the 50s, um, it was uh, said that there was going to be like a nuclear explosion and everything was going to, you know, go to wasteland and everything, which it is now in 2077. And and uh, you're asked to reserve, or they're advertising reserving vaults in like mountains underground to ensure that your family is safe during these times. And so, uh, Vault 101 is where you were born. You actually live your life in the game until you're 19 or so, and you actually go out into the wasteland. And it's based in Washington D.C. This is 2077. And really, it doesn't feel like you're playing a game that's uh, based in the future because, remember, this happened in, like, the 50s, so it feels more as if uh, you're playing in that time. But as you can see, this looks a bit futuristic because these are from those times. And uh, all the wasteland um, means weird uh, characters, enemies, just really messed up, so... And you can pretty much pick up anything, talk to anyone, just like Oblivion. It's uh, very similar to it. And it's just really a different a setting, a different time, and a different, uh, just overall different type of game. But, well, not different type of game, just a shooter. It's basically Oblivion, different place, different time, and guns. So, um, yeah, so you can select which one of these you want to say or whatever. Yeah. So, and you can choose really different paths depending on who you talk to. You can dif di get different quests, and um, it just really depends how you want to play the game. Do you want to be a thief, or do you want to be uh, uh, like a, a a good person? It really just depends. And um, while you're living your life, get all kinds of new things. And you press circle here, and this is your pimp boy. And then basically, this shows all your items, or what apparel you have, aid, um, miscellaneous ammo, and this shows your data, the map, the quest, notes, radio, local map, you know, all that. And your stats, of course. Alright, so, um, right now I'm carrying a pipe, because in this save game I don't have any ammo. And, um, basically I'm going to show you some fighting, and now there are many different types of enemies, as well as some uh, pretty big ones, and I'm going to just show you uh, show you these super mutants. And first, I'm going to equip. Go to my items here. I'm going to equip the uh, the pistol I just just got. So laser pistol right here. There we go. Square and reload. And R1 is to shoot. And there's the uh, health bar of your enemy. Now, as far as I know, this doesn't offer trophies, unfortunately. Yeah, so the game is actually really fun. It's one of those games where, okay, let's say most shooters are just, this is the path you have to follow, and many other paths you just are barricaded some way or another. But really, this gives you so much more space to roam around, just to choose which way do you want to go. Like, you have different quests, like... You don't have to do this, but it'll get you extra stuff. And really, it's a type of game that if you like shooters and you like spending tons of time doing unnecessary things, in my opinion, it's kind of unnecessary. Then you're gonna play this, replay this game eight, eight billion times. I'm just exaggerating here, but still, like, just tons of times because um, there's so many different paths you can take, and you can search bodies. And like I said, you pick up pretty much anything and, you know, sell stuff, buy stuff, and there's different towns that will, 
not necessarily towns, it's basically ruins except with people in them, and with what I guess you can call a home, and you know, you can redecorate and whatnot. This is near the beginning of the game. I'm showing you and you can pick up all these things and really this is what the game is like. And um that's my that's Brett there. It's my uh friend Bling Bling and unfortunately every time um every time your friend is online or offline or something that notifies you, the game like freezes. And uh when you pick up way too much stuff, which I obviously have way too much stuff on me, you can't run. And you can walk like this, so You'll obviously go to items and you can you know, just drop some stuff. I'm just dropping random things so I can run again. Yeah, I probably just dropped my laser pistol, unfortunately. I'll have to take that back. Yeah. And you can hotkey items, which is nice. There's your HP in the bottom. And you got to be careful with radiation. Just You can buy pretty much everything you need. It's, it's really an RPG except a shooter. So if you like the game like Oblivion, you're gonna you're gonna really like a game like uh, Fallout 3. And I haven't played the originals to be honest with you, but I'm sure they're like this. I really don't know. But based on my experience of this game, um it's pretty fun. I mean as you can see uh from this gameplay here it's um it's interesting and you're gonna be constantly trying to find uh items and whatnot. And you can level up, uh, you can improve your speech, which gets people to talk about stuff they otherwise wouldn't, that would benefit you in the game. And just, just things like that. Repair, you know, you can be a scientist, you know, just different things. It's really, you can't do it all. Well, I, I, well, you can eventually, but you can't, it's really hard to do everything and be every type of, uh, person, like a thief and all that. I mean, you can, I can just start killing these people here and stuff like that, but I'm not going to. So, um, here's a big guy right here. It's, so, technically, the game has one storyline, but, well, not really. It's just, it's hard to explain. I have a suit on right now that improves my speech. Um, you can play this game a million different times, uh, play completely differently. And you're always going to find different things. You're constantly, you know, leveling up more in one thing than and then uh, going back to an area that you couldn't like open let's say a safe or something and now you can and your objectives is on your map down there and really it's just it's a fun game uh... however what i recommend it i guess so if you're into big rpgs and uh... big worlds like that i mean if you're into oblivion if you haven't played oblivion then i recommend playing that well actually no but it's not your typical shooter if you're into shooters, like the style of shooters and pretty much nothing else, then this is not the game for you, as you can see. It's an open world, and there's still plenty of shooting, but you can go in a hundred different paths, which I probably repeated. Uh, so, um, that's a review of Fallout 3. Uh, you can customize your character. And, yeah, so, uh, as far as the rankings go, I'll give... Whew, gameplay, an 8. Uh, realism, that's one that I debate really to have. It's kind of unnecessary. But, I'll say it anyways. Realism, just, when you get hit, like, doesn't reflect how much damage you would gain in real life. Um, I would say 7 or so. And, um, hmm. Fun, 8. And graphics, I would give an 8.5, and overall, overall, I'll give an 8. It's it's a good game, but I mean, I'd much rather play Resistance too, which I'm still working on a gameplay video for that. So, uh, thanks for watching. Um, rate, comment, subscribe.